by day 97. 97 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. Uh, put the camera on, we'll get going. I think Ranger wants to eat though. He ate breakfast. You hungry, buddy? You are? You want to do a fist bump this morning? You thinking about it? <laughs> You're reluctant, aren't you? You hungry? You want to try one more time? <laughs> Not happening. Are you hungry? You want some food? You want some food? You are? <laughs> to the fist bump one more time. <laughs> All right. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, now you want to do the fist bump, huh? Come on. Try one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Not doing it. All right, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> He's particular. Sometimes he wants to do it, sometimes he doesn't want to do it. Today he wasn't that interested. He sort of did it. He sort of did it. He did. Want is enough for me today. He already ate breakfast. Now he's having his lunch. All right. I'm gonna just stay in the neighborhood today. Yesterday. All right. Let's get going. See what's going on today. Get out here. We got a lot of roses blooming. All these white roses. Must be 50 buds on there gonna be gorgeous look at all the red ones starting to bloom get those stupid cones out of the way I hate those cones covering up a hole they're putting in a new uh, pipe here look at all those red roses it's gorgeous Wow had a lot of rain this year so we're gonna get a ton of roses all right let's start there's some uh, Look at all these white ones over here. Wow. Hibiscus are blooming. Roses are blooming. I have a lot of gorgeous flowers this year with all the rain. All right, let me start the timer. We'll get going here. All right. Make sure it's counting the... Sometimes it not gonna do it I don't know what it, sometimes if I push it twice it doesn't work I accidentally pushed it twice so is it stuck at zero I think yeah it's not working all right let me start there it goes all right open house down there I don't know maybe I'll come back by there we'll see I don't know all right we're gonna walk in the neighborhood today so I saw us see a few dogs put the over under at three and a half delivery trucks yeah let's say well since we already see a mail truck we'll put it at three and a half muscle cars three and a half everything's three and a half today I'm not counting Tesla's too many we'll see what we see today yesterday was something else yesterday I went to the fast cars limited exotic car shop they had all kinds of stuff out yesterday like let's see I saw at least eight or nine Ferraris a wine colored Maserati uh, several yet red Ferraris a Triumph car you can believe that seen Triumph motorcycles this was a Triumph car a yellow Ferrari and then they had uh, three Lamborghinis parked side by side neon green um, red and orange and the red and the neon green I think it was 69 uh, Mur Mura I can't remember the name of it M I 
M I or M U I R A. I never heard of it before. But it was a uh, the 69 and they said uh, I looked it up it looked like it was valued between 1 and 3 million. One and three million dollars something else and then the uh red one was a Kunt Kuntash Lamborghini Countach, and then the uh orange was a Lamborghini Diablo and I think each each of those were over a half a million to a million <laughs> you want to buy a car for a million dollars crazy can't imagine how much it costs to keep those in running order but that was all yesterday gorgeous cars that place is just down an alley and they have cars shipped to them from all over the world people send them from I think Saudi Arabia Italy England so those are just the ones they have parked outside. And then they must have at least another 50 or 60 more in the garage, which I didn't go into, that they're in, in their garage working on it. So it's just unbelievable. I go by there maybe once a month and they always have different cars out front. And that's just what I saw yesterday. What color is that? Look at that. You can count the Teslas. There's three in a, three out of four cars are a Tesla. And that one is uh, yellow gold, golden rod. I don't even know what color that thing is. Color would you call that Tesla? Look at that. Three out of four cars are Teslas. And then this is a yellow golden rod of some sort. I don't even know what color you'd call that. It's getting ready to move here though. It kind of changes colors as it goes by. I don't know if he's had that painted or wrapped. And I think that the guy where I saw the Tesla truck uh, about a month ago said you can get it, the Tesla wrapped, which I never even really knew what it was, for about $6,000. So maybe he had that wrapped. I, I, didn't, I didn't even really know that was a thing. But if you don't want to, you can get it. Instead of getting it painted, you can just get it wrapped. There's a muscle car, Mustang. First one that I've noticed. There goes another Tesla. I'm not counting the Teslas. Too many. Unbelievable. Two out of three more cars. That's what? Five, five Teslas I've already seen in less than a minute. Too many Teslas. But uh, yeah, so that guy had his... I, it looked like it was wrapped, yellow, gold, goldenrod. It's kind of neat. It's always something, you know. Always something on these walks. You never know what you're gonna see. Then yesterday, that's a cute little dog. Uh, last last week, I went to Manhattan Beach and saw those 10, 15, 20 million dollar houses. And then yesterday, next to the uh, exotic car shop just one street over is a trailer park and there are trailers in there that looks like cost a couple of three thousand dollars i walked in there a little bit trailers uh looked like it was a fairly well kept trailer park it's kind of weird though right next to the car shop where the cars are worth more than the houses it's so about a month ago i was at the car shop and saw that Ferrari is worth 16 million. It was a 58 Spider or something. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't even know what it was when I was looking at it. So yesterday I tried to take note of the models and stuff so I could look it up in case I didn't know. I don't know what I'm looking at a lot of the times over there. They have multi-million dollar cars.
So I'll probably go by there again in like another month or so. We have a whole brand new slate of cars out again. I've never seen a Triumph car before. I saw a Triumph motorcycle last, uh, this last Saturday, I think. Guy that had a Triumph motorcycle had that uh, 67 Ranchero, cherry red. Beautiful looking car. He had a Triumph motorcycle and a cute little dog. I think that was last Saturday. Always something. Already seen that Goldenrod Lexus today. It's, I mean, I called it a Lexus again. It's a Tesla. So I've seen a strawberry colored, a raspberry colored Tesla. Neon green Tesla, aqua Tesla. I think I saw another weird color too. Pink. I've seen a couple of pink Teslas. I think I just saw that about a, I don't know, maybe, no, maybe it's a month ago now. It's an open house down there. No, I'm not going down there today. I've ever walked down there before, but I'm not going to go into an open house today. Went to that open house uh, it was a week ago. When was it? Oh yeah, it was last week. It, um, in Manhattan Beach, she was the realtor. was really nice. Emma, I think was her name. She was all those white iceberg roses. Beautiful. Uh, she was telling me about where everybody lived and about the $150 million house on the Strand, takes up three lots, and where Jared Goff lived and that super modern, sterile looking house on, uh, it was just a couple, three blocks away from where she was on, uh, I think it was on, I think it was on John Street. Or somewhere, John, Manhattan Beach. So, owner of Shorewood Realty owned that house. They had a lot of fine, fine artwork. It's an artwork collector. Well, of course, it was not opened for viewing. Not open for public viewing. I may go to Manhattan Beach tomorrow, though. That's where I saw that $12.5 million house that had all the views of the Pacific Ocean. And uh, one guy owned it and moved. The muscle car, is that number two? The Charger, number two that I've noticed. I may have seen some more go by, but I've only really seen two. There's a purple charger over there. You can't really see it too well. Yeah, get behind this sunk. You can see it. See it parked over there on the see a little bit, but I'm going this way today. Heading back. The spring training out there, kids are out playing baseball. Kids over here, I think it's a t-ball field. Walk by there. See what they're doing. All kinds of kids out playing baseball now. Actually, it looks like they're playing a game over there. Oh boy. Little guys. I 
see T-Ball. Comes a little guy. Oh, yeah. Bats are bigger than they are. Come to a Ford Bronco. Oh boy. Fire. Fire rescue and rescue. Anaheim. You must live here and work in Anaheim. Drive that truck back and forth. It's a long way. Comes a lady with a dog. There's a, it's a, at least two dogs now. See a third? I think this is only number two. few people out today it's nice and warm <laughs> about 60 67 68 today I think let's see if the yellow yellow lab is around a blue bright blue Mustang that's a SUV uh, bright blue. <laughs> I don't think the must uh, Mustang, the yellow lab. Well, look at that. Look at there. License plate kind of squished on the front and curved. I've never seen that before. I don't know how they did that. You see. Customized and somehow, I don't know, even know how it's on there. Glued? They glued it to the front? I don't know. That's a bright blue Mustang. The open house where the doggy lives. In the back. Or this house. I don't know which one's open. Oh, this one. I'm not going in. How you doing today? Hey, buddy. The dogs are not saying hello. They're not ex coming over to the fence. Well, I guess I'm going one more block. Hello. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got going over here. We got a motorcycle, and uh, I don't know why I'm looking down a wrong way on a one-way street. What kind of motorcycle is this? Suzuki looks like it's been uh, wrecked. Put that thing down. Look at the scuff marks on it. it. Must have had an accident. Suzuki S V six fifty S. Seen better days. Saw that Triumph motorcycle uh, car yesterday. Triumph car, and it's a Triumph motorcycle. Last Saturday, another muscle car. Is this a Coyote? This is not a Mustang. It looks like a Mustang, but I think it's a Coyote. I think that's what they call it. It's, the only reason I know is because of this insignia right here in the front. I think it's a Coyote. That's bright. Coyote, yep. I never even heard of that before. Now I've seen three or four of them, at least two or three. 5.0. It looks like a Mustang, but it's not. It's a Coyote. Ford Coyote. It's a little bit sleeker than a Mustang. It's a GT, but it's not a Mustang. It's a license plate, say. Verde. Hmm. I mean the hubcaps. GT. Not a Mustang. Coyote, as I, as I guess that's what it is. Like I said, I never even heard of it until I've been doing the walk. It's a olive green Toyota truck from Texas. A big truck, Tundra, Toyota Tundra. <laughs> Be friendly. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. 
You've been out for a walk today, huh? Beautiful out. Oh, yeah, you're a friendly guy, huh? <laughs> Don't, is he biting on you? No, no, he's okay. okay. He's a puppy, huh? Yeah, he's five okay. months. Oh, my God, you're yeah. big, huh? <laughs> he's a yeah. good boy, huh? What's your name? His name's Rufus. Hey, Rufus. <laughs> Seen that video? They have this guy. He's got 18 dogs, and uh, they're all sitting. Hey, buddy. And he'll call each. They won't move until they call his name. Wow. Yeah, you could Google it or whatever, but it, I never knew really that dogs could really know their names. The other one, they will not move because each one individually. Oh. And none of them move unless they're called by name. They're crazy. So they really know their names. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. The cute dog, Rufus. All right, make a turn here. Went a little bit a block farther than I normally go. You never know what you're gonna see by just going a night another block. Always something. The El Camino. Now, what year is this? This must be. The later model El Camino that I've seen before. How you doing? I wonder what year that El Camino is from 87. Oh, that's yours, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 87. It's nice. Yeah. You had it for a long time? Yeah. Oh, man. Since Are you the original owner? No. Oh, just had it for a while? My friend that I bought it from. Oh, you I've bought it? I've had it for, I don't know, 11, 12 years. Oh, yeah. I see a lot of El Caminos, but they're from the 70s. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see too many from the 80s for some reason. I, I don't know why. Two of them that are 87. Oh, you do? It's a yeah. good looking car, huh? Yeah. Yeah. See a lot of interesting things on these walks. Let me show you the other one. Oh, yeah, sure. You never know what you're going to see on these walks. I went to, uh, I don't know if you're into cars. Have you ever been to. Uh... Yeah, I, I enjoy cars. Oh, you got the other one in here, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this one's nice, huh? What is it, uh, black? It's burgundy. Oh, burgundy. Oh, nice. Was it custom? Yes. Oh, it's nice. How long you had this one? Oh, about the same. Oh, about the same, huh? Yeah. That's a good looking car. Truck, what do you call it? <laughs> the car, it's a truck? Yeah. Oh, nice. You drive them very much? No, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. But I, don't, I just don't drive them enough, and I had this outside, I just brought it in last week, but I have four grandsons and my garage was full of their junk. <laughs> so I've spent two months cleaning my garage. Oh out, my gosh. Just to make room for it. I like that color. Is that, is that custom color too? Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, that's nice. I was going to say, yeah, if, you're, if you really like cars, Okay, not too far away from here, off of, uh, what is it, 192nd? It's, a, it's an alley, Marianne. Uh -huh. And it's a car dealer, sh uh, car shop called Fast Cars is the name of it. Fast Cars Where's Limited. Marianne, it's like, uh, you know where the 99 cent store is? Yes. Right across the street from there. Oh. And it's an alley. It's literally an alley. Oh. But this place, you've just got, I was over there just yesterday. It's unbelievable. They get cars shipped to them from all, literally all over the world. Wow. And you and you walk by, and every time they're closed today, but Monday through Friday, anytime you walk on that alley, yes, like yesterday, nine Ferraris, three Lamborghinis, Maserati parked out front in the alley. Yeah. It's an alley, just an alley, and they get cars shipped to them from all over the world. I was there a month ago. They what had does a. He do to them? They, they work on the cars for people, and they have them oh. shipped from all over the world. Right. I was there a month ago, they had a 58 Ferrari Spider, and I didn't know how much it was worth till I got home. $16 million. Uh, every car there is a million dollar car. And when you look in their garage, they got 50 or 60 more in there they're working on. I mean, it's unbelievable. And it's only like, what, maybe a mile from here. God, that's unbelievable. You gotta walk by there one day. Yeah. Just drive by there on a Monday or Tuesday, it's just, and every month they have different cars and they park them out front. You just go by there and look at them. They have 24 hour security, but oh. million, like those three, those the one Lamborghini had a neon green Lamborghini, uh, $3 million. $3 million. 69, it was a 69, I never heard of it, M, 
Mim U I R A. And then right next to it, they had a, a Lamborghini Countach, and right next to it, a Diablo, Lamborghini Diablo. Yeah. Just parked right there. You got to check, you got to go to drive by there sometime. Yeah. Mar it's right off of 190th, right? Yeah, Mary Ann. It's right by like the donut shop across from the 99 cent store. It's an alley. You, yes, if, you did, yes. if you blink, you'll miss it. Okay. And you drive by there and you'll drive to the end of the alley and then all of a sudden, boom, yeah. nine Ferraris, three Lamborghinis. I mean, just million dollar cars. God, it's unbelievable. And they get them shipped from all over the world. Wow. Yeah, you got to go by there. But I'm it, going to yeah. now that you tell me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Yeah, nice seeing your cars too. Thank, Thank you. you sir. Okay, have a good one. <laughs> it's an 87 El Camino. Never know what you're gonna see on these walks. Good looking car. All right. Well, goldenrod. Saw the goldenrod uh Tesla, El Caminos, Rufus the dog. Man, you never know what you're gonna see on these ones. Every day, it's something different. And it's only, you know, if you walk every day, 10, walk a mile, 10 minutes out, 10 minutes back, gonna see something every time. Try to walk a different little, a little bit different route each time. What is this? What is this? I don't even know what this is. Like, again, oh, it's a Camaro. Oh, it's a Camaro. But it's sporty, RS. Again, it looks like a, it looks like the Mustang. Mustang and Camaros have always competed and they still look like the same type of body. It's a RS. RS Camaro. It looks like a sportier Camaro. Maybe it's because it's called an RS. I don't know, Rally Sport. Look at the back even looks different. I didn't even know what it was. It's kind of got the Corvette taillights in the back from the later model Corvettes. And here comes another Mustang. Is that like the fifth muscle car I've seen now that I'm counting? Yes. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a rally sport. Oh, I see something on these walks. Every day it's something different. Something different and interesting. <sighs> Beautiful weather today. Shorts, long sleeve shirt today. About 68. What did I see this week? All kinds of stuff. I saw the policeman. They were arresting that girl or something. I guess they were just giving her a ticket. Then they took off. Going after somebody else. I don't know what day that was. Tuesday? Wednesday? I don't know. Three, four days ago. Uh-oh, this one's for lease. How much they won? Let's see. NHL Brokers. Oh, boy. Looks like it may be open or something. 11 to 3? No, that was last week. $2,095 for lease. Must be a two bedroom or something. No, oh, one bedroom, one bath, 600 square feet. 644 square feet, 2095 Can be yours. If you want to. Might be leased by the time a uh, video shows. <laughs> that uh, agent last week was telling me that there's a house that's on the Strand. I've shown it before in Manhattan Beach. It takes up three lots, a triple lot. After they bought that triple lot, they wouldn't let any more people buy triple lots. But anyway, it's the last of the triple lots. Cute little dog. Um, but it was on the market for. Uh, see, is this kind of turning or what? No, 
on the market for 150 million dollars and uh and the, I looked it up online. I didn't go in. It wasn't open. There's a big dog. Look at that big dog down there. I walked by him. Now he's going in. Uh, I could have walked by him, but he's going in. Uh, $150 million. <clears throat> like I said, it wasn't open, obviously. But uh, online, they had a pool. They have a pool on the second floor. And the pool has... Uh, the bottom of the pool they have skylights that go down into the first floor so <laughs> it's like skylights into the pool though if it ever breaks springs a leak you're going to have a disaster uh but anyway they couldn't sell it 150 million dollars so they leased it and she said that they leased it for a year you want to take a guess take a guess how many uh, how much a month? $125,000 a month for a year. So, it's going to be over a million dollars. They're going to spend over a million to lease that place for a year. You could buy a house for a million and not have to pay any more. They're just going to lease it. There oh, must be somebody has a whole lot of money but I guess they don't have a, they don't have to pay property taxes on it a property taxes on that's probably 125,000 is probably just pay the property tax the property taxes is what it's about 1.5 percent 1.3 percent I think so it's, yeah it's just basically pays the property taxes Wow, seemed like I said, when she told me that, I said, it seems kind of cheap actually per month because the property taxes are about that much. Be about 1.5 million a year for property taxes. Yeah, here's, here's a Mustang, it's a Cobra on the front. Is it a Mustang? I don't think it's a Mustang. Is this a Cobra? Yeah, you know, another car that looks like a Mustang, but it's a Cobra, I believe. It's got a Cobra on the front. Let's see what it says on the back. Oh, it's a Shelby Cobra. <laughs> Ford Shelby GT500 on a Mustang body. It's a good looking car. Yeah, I've only seen a Coyote and a Shelby today. It's a little bit different front than a Mustang. Good looking car. A lot faster than a, sh and a regular Mustang. Carol Shelby passed away 20 years ago. But that's who that car is named after. He had his own car company, I guess, and a car show, and Ford hired him to build cars for them. So that, that movie is a uh, Ford versus Ferrari. Matt Damon plays uh, Carroll Shelby. It's a pretty good movie. And the guy, gosh, I can never think of his name. He played Batman. He played, uh, won an Academy Award for The Fighter. Anyway, he plays the other lead against uh, Matt Damon. can't think of his name right now. It's a pretty good movie. He has a reputation to be difficult to work with, but he's done several good movies. He was in a... I didn't see it, but a movie... Uh, What's it called? Uh, No, I can't think of it now. It's like Psycho kind of played a serial killer. He lost a whole bunch of weight or something. I didn't see it. I don't like those movies. Can't think of his name. He played Batman. He was really good in The Fighter. Mark Wahlberg. The Lemon Tree. 
and the good lemons are too high up when the down below are yellow. There's one back here.